induced current. Figure shows a circular loop of wire falling toward a wire carrying a current to the left. So this is a circular loop of wire falling with velocity v towards another wire that carries a current i flowing to the left. What is the direction of the induced current in the loop of wire? Clockwise, counterclockwise, zero or impossible to determine. Now the first task is to find the direction of the magnetic field created by this uh, current, current carrying wire. When the current is pointing to the right, if you have your uh, right hand thumb pointing in the direction of the current, you will see that the four fingers curl towards uh, into the page on the side of the uh, loop of wire. So we will have a magnetic field that is pointing into the page on this side. And as you know, the magnetic field decreases as 1 over r as we go far, uh, farther away from the wire. So as this loop of wire comes closer to the uh, current carrying wire, we're going to see an increase in the magnetic flux. So uh, therefore, uh, the, in, according to a Lenz's law, there should be an induced current which will be acting to decrease this increasing flux. Okay, so in the loop of the wire, inside the loop, we will have an increasing flux into the page. So there should be an induced current that's going to create a magnetic flux that's pointing out of the page, and that would be in the uh, counterclockwise direction, so that if you have your a thumb pointing in the direction of the current inside the loop, you will see that the four fingers curl out of the loop, creating an induced flux that is opposing the increasing flux. So we see that the magnetic flux due to B that is pointing into the page is increasing as the loop falls down. Therefore, the induced current is going to be in the counterclockwise direction, which would create a magnetic field inside the loop that is pointing out of the page uh, direction perpendicular to the page to oppose the increasing magnetic flux. Okay. So that's basically the result of uh, Lenz's law. So in this example, we talked about the direction of an induced current on a circular loop of wire falling towards a straight wire, which carries a current I pointing to the left. Since the induced magnetic flux, due, uh, since the magnetic flux created by this uh, current is pointing into the page on the side of the loop of wire, which is found by using the right hand rule. So if you have your thumb pointing in the direction of the current, four fingers point into the page. And we know that this magnetic field is mu zero i divided by two pi r, the distance from the wire. As this loop of wire is approaching the straight wire, this magnetic flux will be increasing. So to oppose the increasing flux, an induced current will flow in the counterclockwise direction, creating a magnetic field out of the page, so that, uh, according to Lenz's law, the uh, increase in the magnetic flux inside the loop will be resisted.